me go. Stop playing and let me over with this wind-up car. What's up, IG? Let's see it today. We're going to have a good live, uninterrupted. Uninterrupted live. I'm only going to be on here for like 45 minutes tops. 45 minutes tops because I'm going to get some food and I'm going to the mall. Definitely supposed to exit. No, I'm not. Am I? No, I'm not. These things are. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? I'm definitely not going to be on here all day today. I'm definitely not going to be on here all day today. I definitely was supposed to exit. That's nice. Because I did not. Alright. I love when I miss the turn. I'm still on the highway. That was fun. Alright, so... Hey, what's up, y'all? Oh, Wealthy Kim, you on here? Good. Good. I got I got your ass back. And hey, would I be crazy if I reverse all the way down the turnpike? That's crazy. I just added 25 minutes to my trip because the freaking joint gave me a okie doke. Yo. Yo, Wealthy Kim. Yo, I be on the road all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is. You already know. I'm always live in the car. Where I be going? I'm going to get some food. I'm starving. I'm starving. I definitely. Y'all really feel like reversing. This joint just added 23 minutes to my food trip. Yo. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wealthy Kim, don't play with me, bro. Don't play with me, bro. You owe me that student loan. You owe me that student loan. I told y'all I was 417-ish. I got caught up doing some stuff in the crib. And I was like, I'm going to do the live from the car. Because you already know, if I try to start it in the house, and then I come outside, I'm going to lose sound or some stupidness. Who knows? IG, don't hear that. And then take my sound out. Because it stresses me out when y'all do that. All right. Wealthy Kim, stop playing with me, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. Yo, so, today, 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 I wanted to talk about, yo, where you at, bro? You're going to get me mad. You're going to get me. I'm going to talk about accountability. I'm going to talk about accountability. Today, I'm going to talk about accountability. I'm really going to talk about accountability. I'm going to tell you why, right? And if you guys haven't, haven't noticed my personality, like, I'm semi sort of aggressive, but I'm calm, you know? But I crack a lot of jokes. But we're going to talk about accountability. So today, I really added 20 minutes to this. Yo. Get me tight, T. Yo. And you're stuck in traffic. And I'm stuck in traffic. This is chumps. So, accountability, right? I could, I'm going to have to say that's my fault. I just added 30 minutes to a 20, 20, uh, 50, that's how many, it's 15 minute trip. 20 minutes for no damn reason because I want to pull a okie doke. So, being accountable, being accountable, holding yourself accountable. I have a business partner, right? I have a business partner, um, and I literally had to call him up today and be like, yo, bro, I haven't spoken to you in four days. I haven't spoken to you in four days, four or five days. That is not okay. He's like, yo, you know, my work schedule, I'm on nights. I said, I don't give a flying fuck. Now, I don't want to make it seem like, I don't care, but everybody has a schedule. Everybody schedules nuts. Everybody here know I'm a teacher. I teach the youth them, the people them, right? You pick me. I teach your kids. I teach them from the from 8:20 to about 2:40, 2, 3 o'clock. After that, I got two hours of banking time to either call banks or whatever financial run I gotta do. I got two hours to do it. I also made a commitment to make sure I go live every day around 4.17-ish, right? So I, I tend to go like an hour before I, got, before I have to actually tie one of my phones up and actually get things done. And he said, you know what, Rich? He said, yo, you know what? I, you right for that. I can't even be mad at you barking at me because I've been, I've been, I've been MIA. I haven't been communicating. I'm like, yo, I, I will that pay you out. I will pay you out if you do that shit again. I'll pay you out. 
It will not be a joint venture if you disappear. It will not. Because I have to, at this point, like, yo, you cannot do that. So if you got a business partner, you cannot go ghost on them. If you my business partner, you definitely can't go ghost on me because I will pull up, like, yo, here your money. Like, nah, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. I would rather figure this shit out dolo. I would rather figure this shit out dolo than sit here and try to figure out what you're doing on your end and you're not holding up your end of the deal. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So I'm just telling you guys, for people that if you're doing business with somebody, if you're doing business with somebody, we're telling you about opening up these LLCs, we're talking to you about fixing your credit, and if you guys haven't implemented some of the stuff we told y'all yet, you need to. You need to. I done told y'all, I done told y'all how to get your Apple card. I done told y'all how to get American Express cards. I told you all seven I got in a day. I done showed you, I done showed you how to get into these credit unions. I gave you, I gave you the um, I gave you how to get into credit unions. I, I gave you how to get into credit unions, even if you're not even in the area. If you have no affiliation with these credit unions, I gave you guys a jump on that. I was on a call where one of my one of my calls where I, we were talking and I gave it to them and three of them got their certain numbers in five minutes. Fix yourself. Like, it's it's no ifs, ands, or buts. We didn't give you how to get an LLC open. We told you what to do, how you cannot look sketchy to these banks, right? Because you you're not trying to look like you a mom and pop shop, but we got to correct that. I didn't give you guys, I didn't give you guys how to, I had people come up here, tell y'all business credit, how to how to get your cars, Turo stories, Eric, like everything, like literally. We done had the beauty, beauty accountant come on here and show y'all how to get y'all papers together, and y'all definitely need to DM her. About, about making sure that your bottom line, your baseline is your real baseline. What's your business overhead? What's your personal overhead? That needs to be your baseline that you need to make monthly because there's no way that you're still paying your bills. We done did all of that. I want somebody to open up and say, Rashid, I went and got, I went and got my virtual address. I went and got, I went and opened up my Apple C. I went and got my Apple card. I went and, I went and made sure that my bills are paid down to less than 5% before my statement date. So my utilization is always low. That's what I want to see. I want to see that. I want to know if y'all even know what y'all statement date is. When you can either call them and find out, or you could go online and find out on your statement. I want to know if you if you even got the credit to cash book because you like you trying to figure out how I'm making moves, how I'm how I'm paying my bills off these cards. What I keep talking about, why you need to get these credit cards. There it is. Why why do you need to get these credit cards? I'm trying to figure out if you guys are implementing the stuff we're talking about. <clears throat> There's no point. Everything I tell y'all to do, I'm either in the process of doing, so I'm telling y'all step by step as I'm doing it, or I did it already. And I last 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 year was the year of excuses. I, I honestly, I'm not gonna say new year, new me, but it's it's been like pure execution, pure, pure, pure. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Pure you know, execution. I ain't taking no hostages. Everybody dies. I don't want to hear yo, no excuses. Pure, no, like, yo. <clears throat> like, yo, what's up, Alexis? Hey, girl, one of mine is to, exactly. Yo, it's pure only execution. Any little step you could do to get yourself to the next level or to the next part of the journey, do it. Stop making excuses. But Stop making people, excuses. They don't want to invest in themselves. That's the biggest problem. Because people know the cost of everything and the value of nothing. And it's a big roadblock. <sighs> oh, I'm going to get on a call with Rashida. That's probably a $500 or $1,000 call. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you how to get approved for a $25,000 credit card. That, that, that's a no-brainer, bro. It's, it's a song. It's a, it's a no-brainer. They sing that shit. Because that's the problem. It's it's not. Yo, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Right? This guy, Durain. Actually, Durain. It's funny that you finally you brought your ass over here. You always on clubhouse <laughs> chatting. You always on clubhouse chatting with Bro, the big young you man. Gonna, what are you gonna do me like that? <laughs> always. I've been. Remember? I think. Uh, I think it was a couple of them. They were asking about like some of the laws we we're talking about, and I was like, yo. This I stick to my wheelhouse. You want to learn how to turn credit to cash? You want to learn how to get cash off your cards? Let me cars show people what I'm looking at right now. Exactly. They think and I'd leverage be your money? 
They think I'd be fronting. This is what I'm reading ain't right no front. now. Ain't no front game. You want to learn how to leverage your money? That's me. You want to learn how these, to use these laws to get this stuff off your credit report? That's him. I don't, I don't claim to do shit that I'm not. I'm, that's yeah, not that, my expertise. I send you to the they, expert. They think you, you just be talking this game and not doing it. It's like, like, who else, you know, just really sits and read laws? That's what I do. That's all he do. The rain buys books. Durain got a he got a book Amex card. I think I think they done sponsored this man. I'm not gonna lie to you, Durain. I can't read as <laughs> much books as you do. I cannot. I cannot. I read my self developments, but I cannot. This man got books on books. So you you wanna me, know who's doing me, the studying? Let me show y'all. That me ain't show for show. A little bit to my library. That is not for show. That's for it's real. A whole, it's a whole three thing. See, a whole three. Whole three bookshelves full of books. Listen, listen. Y'all gotta start executing. Y'all gotta start you executing. To. You know what's crazy? I was trying to get matter of fact, this this call and took a whole other turn. So we're talking about accountability. Y'all gotta stop playing with yourself. Literally. I don't care. Stop playing yourself. <laughs> I just heard what I said. Y'all gotta stop playing yourselves, okay? <laughs> There's money to be <laughs> There's money to be made out of it. <laughs> It was a long day. <laughs> I was playing that this morning. Yeah, I really gotta stop playing yourself. There's there's ways that you can make your life easier. Now I'm not just saying that this to say like, yo, go on start this LLC, make this seven figure business. This may not be what you want. Yeah, right? Be yo, Alexis, you. Alexis, no bullshit, no bullshit, Alexis. The law is the Bible. And this the law is the I Bible. Guess, got on the bureau right now I think this is going to be a game changer listen if they ain't tapped in with the credit hero and consumer law secrets you're sleeping chapter X bureau of consumer protection finance but not Listen. seriously it's time to it's time to execute we know the law stands for land air and water ain't that the three components of the world land mm. air and water don't land start with an L Air start with an A, water start with a W. Doesn't you went to spell, some shit. Doesn't that spell <laughs> law? I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I know stuff. I'm not the expert though. I'm always in on the, I'm always in. I'm always tuned in. Let's go, it's, man. It's something. That's why there's there's laws for all of it too. You realize there's, there's mean, laws for land, there's laws for he, air, and there's he laws for water. Who seeks not receives not. If you don't have the inclination or the drive to seek and learn, it, it's not going to happen. Like people are so much into, they want to be spoon fed, hold my hand. Like where is the initiative? That's why, that's why I'm going to tell you right now, anybody who takes my credit to cash course, right? You take my credit, my credit to cash class, you learn how to maneuver, right? And I will let my students text me. You guys could text me all day. But if you text me a spoon fed question, if you don't text me a concept, I'm be like, yo, what did you like? I tell you, you can come back to every class I teach. If you started with me in September, you could still come back when I'm teaching classes in December if you need a re up. Like once you once you get into the class, you can always come back and take the class. So, but I'm telling you how to fish. I learned how to fish. Every play I found, I found myself. Mm -hmm. Any play, any questions I had, and I had other people in tune with what I'm doing. I will go and like, yo, what do you think if I did X, Y, Z? What if I did this? What if I did that? I bet. I'm trying to find ways to be lazy and do it. You know why? Because my, my time is valuable sometimes. And I don't have time. You're to enlightened soul. Your enlightened soul says nobody wants to read. That is absolute yo, fact. That's facts. That's why my class, <laughs> my class, I talk. You can just listen. <laughs> and that's why I make audio books and video books now, because I'm finding out that a lot of the information, even though it's written, you're still not getting it. So I have to speak and then break the whole book down. So I, I wrote the book. And now you're reading the book. I have to book. do a video book. And then I had to do an audio book. So it's three parts. It's like, God damn. But either way, it one to must hit. One must hit. The only thing I can't do is open your brain and put it in there. Yo, you got to want it. I'm going to tell y'all, y'all really have to want it. You really, really. Yo, what's up, Mr. 850? You really have to want it. 
You really have to want it. I'm going to tell y'all, there was a point in time where I wasn't executing. I'm going to say I was a student. I was, over, I was information hoarding. And what information happened? Information hoarding. Nothing happened. Absolute shit. What caused the change? Oh, you're silent, huh? What Accountability. Happened? Accountability. There you go. Accountability. One of my people's in here, I ain't going to lie. It was, one, it was him, too. It was a couple of them. They're like, yo, why are you not doing this? Why, why haven't you done this yet? We had this conversation already. Why haven't you finished this part? We talked about this already. And I'm sitting there like, I'm like that guy. I ain't so had no reason. So much information. I didn't have no reason. You, ha you have so much information. I know what you could have been doing. running this play. Could have been running plays, but I didn't, I didn't have no reason. Like, what was, stop, what was holding me back? Nothing. What was Nothing. holding me back? Actually, my myself. What was holding me back? My myself. Oh well, what if it don't work? You know when you have that uh they call it um it's not information overload, but it's like the analysis fear of paralysis. succeeding. Analysis paralysis. You you're afraid of succeeding, like you're afraid mm -hmm. of doing it because you might be good at it. All the what ifs start coming in. What if what it don't ifs? work? What if nobody likes it? What if nobody buys the book? It don't matter. Write it the don't damn matter. book. Write the book. Run the play. Buy the shit Open yourself. the account. Open the account. You know first... how long it takes? Yo, honest to God. Buy honest to copy. God. Every day, you guys should be looking up different banks, the products they serve, the products they serve, and writing down what these banks are giving out every day. And if you have a business, you should be figuring out how to get into these banks Every day. We gave y'all it already. Every live I saved. Besides the one that they kicked my sound out and IG be acting emotional. Because you know, IG acts emotional. Y'all know. IG uh, tries. They try my nerve. Every day I saved a live. How to get into these banks. We gave y'all information after information after information for y'all to go run it. I'm not you. And that's why, you know what's the crazy part? Half the stuff that, half the stuff that you guys, people, you could honestly go on somebody's program if you gather the information yourself, you could do it yourself. If you won't so if you won't so scary about doing it, you could do it yourself. Go run it. You should open up run a bank account every plane. day. Go open a business bank account every other day. By the end of the week, you have three open. Look at that. You got three new relationships. Look at that. You don't form three new three new friends. Three new friends. And just wait, they just waiting for you to put money in there. That's and they just waiting to give you credit. <laughs> they just, just waiting to give you loans. Unlimited credit. They have to give it out. You think the banks in there say, "Oh no, we're not giving out." No, they're like here. How the hell, bro? They're like here. We gave out a list of banks. We gave out credit unions. Credit unions want to give you money. They need you. It's crazy. Y'all don't realize how important y'all are. Your EIN is something else. Bro, yeah, look at EIN this. is something else. What happened? Go run look the play. This. Yo, Mr. 850 is on here. Look at this. Again. Look at this. Look at this. So I'm 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 deep diving into this in on the bureau. I'm in the bureau right now. Right? And I stumbled across this rules for debt collectors subject to the fear that and when I do this, look, nothing happens. They removed it, bro. It's That's gone. That's because they, like, they, they know. When I tell y'all, like, you, you're, you're not supposed to know this shit. Look, everything else is there. See? Everything else but is you, there. You go to the library and get that. Huh? You can go to the library and get that. Yeah, yeah. I have, I have the book up there. I have it on my... Um... Yo, Boss Ness. Boss Ness. It's okay. I'm going to tell y'all what I want. I don't want y'all to do. Because I'm, I'm always transparent. When I, when I fuck up, I'm going to tell y'all I fucked up. I'm gonna tell y'all I fucked up. I fucked up when I went. I went. I ran a play a couple months ago, and I should have. I should have went and got the Amex Amazon card and like two other cards. And I went hotel because I was being. I was being travel happy, right? But I know I made a mistake. Guess what? Next time I go run another play, I know what I did wrong. I can adjust. The issue is y'all. Y'all so afraid of doing something wrong that you're not doing anything. So you're not getting no feedback on shit. Not starting. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be 100 percent honest with y'all. One of my businesses, I'm not even sure if my Duns number is up on it. I had to call, I had to call Tevin like, yo, I need you to help me with this. I need you to help me with this because I want to make sure this other LLC I opened up, I did everything right. 
That's his expertise. I'm tapping in. I'm admitting, like, yo, I need help with this part. I don't fucking know everything, but I know when I implemented something, the banker, she had said, oh, I don't see your guns number. I said, really? Is that there? She said, no. I, she said, well, I can't. I need to op- I need that so I can open and get you some credit lines. I said, no problem. I'm going to fix that. I got off the phone with her. I called Tab, like, yo, Tab, we need to sit down and go through all my LLCs. I want to make sure all my shit is running up and down because I want to make sure that I don't have that problem again. Look at that. If I never called, if I never took that step, if I never looked it up, they would have never they would have never gave me no feedback. Cause these bankers know what it is. They know. They're waiting to come in and give you champagne and say, oh hi, uh-uh. hello, Mr. Delevante. Would you like to sit down? Hi. Well, want to watch your billion dollar estate? Oh yes. They want that. They mm-hmm. have no other choice. Mm-hmm. They can't they no legally make money. There is no money. There is no money. They they just gotta give you these lines, these credit lines. I'm telling y'all, get it together. Make a step and be wrong. Then 50 Cent say when I'm right, when I'm wrong, I can never be wrong. He said I can never be wrong because when I'm wrong, I'm still right because I was right by being wrong. Be, like, go find out what you're wrong about. Go make a step. Go make a mistake. Just go take a step. Like, just go do it. Go do it. A denial is not a, a denial is not a stop. No, it's not. It's just telling you what you need to do to get in what the door. Do That's wrong. all it is. On top of that, when they send you the denial letter for whatever reason, because they, they denying you some shit they shouldn't be denying you, that's another conversation. They tell you what the problem is. So now mm. you know what to fix. It's, it goes even deeper than that. Because now, if I know I got denied because of some shit that's on there that shouldn't be on there now, and we're talking about whole... actual damages, oh, you don't want me to go down this rabbit hole. No, nah, I want you to. I don't want nah, to. No, no, no. They got to participate. If they want nah. me to go down this rabbit hole, I want them to say, get in the room. Like, People need to be in the room right now. Let's get in the room, right? Like, if you get denied for credit based on an inaccurate account that's on your consumer report, either on the FCRA or FDCPA, and we're talking about actual damages, you can get some serious moolah. So what am I getting at? If there is a repossession on there that's not supposed to be... You know what? Let me not use repossession. I'm going to use a charge-off because charge-offs are illegal and a lot of people don't know that it's illegal to report charge off. So if the charge off is on there and Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Because you, you, uh, you ain't been on my live yet, but you're not allowed to drop some shit like that and not explain to the people exactly them what you're talking about. So I'm going to just tell you that no, you are not allowed to come on the live, drop a gem. <laughs> And then just slide past it like we ain't just hear what you just said. How is it illegal to put a charge off on a report? Well, two things, right? <clears throat> a charge off isn't a charge off. A charge off is ordinary income. The IRS says once the company files the charge off, if you see the status charge off, it means that an action occurred, an identifiable action occurred, and there's a cancellation of that debt. Somebody needs to be left holding the bag. So the IRS says, okay, now that this XYZ company filed the charge off, it is now supposed to be reported on your taxes as ordinary income. Ordinary income or income, income does not get reported on the the credit report. There is no slot for income. So if the IRS is telling you that the cancellation of that particular debt is ordinary income, how is income being reported on a credit report? It's not, it's not debt, it's income. So reporting a charge off is illegal because income does not get reported on the credit report. You following? Talk spice. You want me to break it down some more? You gotta break it down (laughs) some more. You know you got to. All right. So someone's asking me what law is that? It's the IRS publication. So go Google the IRS publication for 2020. Um, AC. A means abandonment and C means cancellation of debt. So we're talking about the 1099C, which is the form 1099C, which is what you file, not you, but the creditor is supposed to file your um, charge off under cancellation of debt. Once they get that tax break on that, you they cancel the debt. So now 
someone needs to be left holding the bag. The IRS says it's ordinary income and it must be reported on your taxes. Income does not get reported on the credit report. It makes the reporting of a charge off illegal because that is income, ordinary income. It is not a debt. So the status of the account is inaccurate. It's inaccurate reporting. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to let that marinate real quick. I mean, don't even get me started on late payments and utilizations because those two are illegal. Get me nah, nah, they got, they got to tap in on Clubhouse on Fridays for that. It's not only that. I'm doing a Zoom on Sunday. Oh. So oh. someone mentioned, so I'm going to get to the Zoom in a Wait minute. Wait a minute. You doing a Zoom on Sunday? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm doing a Zoom on Sunday. I'm going to come back to that. Someone typed in the chat about the IRS sent the $600. So, yes. So, for the $600 or more, they must send you the 1099C. That's for that amount. Amounts under that, it didn't say they, they're not going to send it to you. But for amounts that is $600 or more, they must send it to you. So, if it's $599 or less, it's still the same thing. The only thing the IRS doesn't say is that they have to send that to you. That's the only difference. That's crazy. That's crazy. So I hope that answered that person's question. But if he, if he, so about the Zoom on Sunday, um, Rashida, are you able to pin something? I don't know how you pin stuff. I don't think you gotta I have write it. You gotta write it, and then I can pin it. Oh, okay. Right. I'm not gonna write it because I'm driving. Got if y'all don't know how to dispute, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Durain, Durain has Clubhouse every Friday. He's on Clubhouse on the it's do for self credit do for yourself uh do for self credit repair. There you go, do for self credit repair. Um he has it every Friday on Clubhouse. You can literally follow the room and he gives out like sometimes he walk people down through the laws on how to write your letters. Y'all can even tap into his community, y'all can tap in y'all can get his ebook, y'all can tap into his um Yeah, how to get the um so I just posted the link from my website. See if you see it. I'm not sure if you're able to pin it. I don't I know. Got how to it. Pin they can't. It. They can't click it though. But I could pin it. Yeah. So pin it, and then they'll be able to see it. Okay. Bet. Yeah. So once they go on my website, they're gonna see the link for my VIP Zoom or general admission. In the VIP Zoom, that's where all the sauce is gonna be. Like what we're talking about right now is what we're gonna be discussing in in the VIP Zoom. So if y'all go to my website, the link is pinned right there. Go to the website, and y'all need to sign up for the Zoom. We're going to take apart the Fair Credit Reporting Act. And I want all y'all questions, Mr. Under Instruction. Mr. Under Instruction. I need you to show up in the room because you seem to have some very good questions. You need to be in the room now asking I these questions. Durain, Durain, there's some people that come to my lives every day. They either, they either are taking down notes and implementing or... Really? Or they bring him, they went and did some homework and brought back some value. Cause he gave me a bank yesterday. I'm actually, I, I took out time this, um, tomorrow morning. I'm like, I'm gonna look up some more banks. Gotta pick up my, mm -hmm. I gotta, you know, I gotta increase my, my arsenal of cards. Um, and he gave me first, it was first, uh, shoot. I, it was first something credit union. He know what he's talking about. He, he, is he, your he, lender's he's list out yet? Is your secret my lend lender's list my, lend it? my lender's list, my lender's list is definitely up in the book, in the book. You can get that too. Cause he the thing though, right? When you're leveraging these credit cards and we're and we're going to get these banks money, right? We're gonna go we're gonna go rob them. We just we robbing them, right? Y'all y'all gotta realize that there's there's rules to how we get it. Like we're not just gonna pull up and not know how to talk to somebody. For example, if I know if I go to Durain's house and I know that Durain's son likes Power Rangers and I'm trying to make a good impression on Durain's son, I might bring Power Rangers over to his crib. I might bring a Power mm -hmm. Ranger movie. I might bring some mm -hmm. action figures. I might get him some socks, a hat. A blanket, something, so that he knows, so that he knows. I I, I want him to know that, that that I want I want him to like me. We do the same thing for these banks. You gotta know how to address them. You gotta know Fact. how to pull up to them. You gotta Fact. know what to bring when you come sit with them. So you can't Fact. sit there and say, "Oh, I'ma just come here. I'm pulling up with nothing." How ungrateful is that? How ungrateful is that? 
Look at that. Dorey think... helped me get my score up 100 points from his YouTube video. Yo! First of all, I had a YouTube interview with Marvel. <laughs> <Fire. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, listen. All right. All right. So, you know what? Y'all need to tap into this. First story. financial credit union. Thank you, Mr. Under Instruction. Y'all need to, y'all really need to tap into the Zoom. I'm telling y'all, the Zoom Sunday is going to be crazy, especially what I'm looking up right now. And I need y'all to get y'all language right. If I hear anybody come on my Zoom and talk about credit bureau, I swear I'm going to kick you out the Zoom. There I'm is done. no such thing as a credit bureau. It doesn't exist. You have consumer reporting agencies. The only bureau is the Bureau of Financial Protection. It's the only bureau. There it's the only one no, that exists. There is no credit bureau. It doesn't exist. I don't know where those words came from, but we need to call them by their correct name, which is what they are. Consumer reporting agencies. Y'all give them too much power. Y'all need to take y'all power back. Yo, you know what's crazy? None of them. You know what's crazy, Doreen? You're saying that now, right? You haven't been on my lives. And every day I tell them, Yo, y'all don't realize how much power you have in your wallet. Bruh, I hear you use that statement. Uh, What's in your wallet? I took nah, it. I need, I need, I need <laughs> you to make your own statement. The power that's in your wallet. Mm, that's yours. Let's go. The, po the power in your wallet. The power in your... Yo, I like that. Yeah, that's I yours. Like take that. that. Take that. I'm keeping that. Yeah, I'm keeping that. I don't, yeah. I don't care if y'all heard him say it. I'm taking it. I'm going <laughs> to say it tomorrow. You know what I do say re every day, though? I do not endorse liability spending. So I'm not going to tell y'all to get these cards, run these plays, do all of these things, and you go outside and you go buy some nonsense that's not making you no money. Facts. Absolutely. Anything I'm I give buy, you, it's making I'm me gonna a I'm going to give buck. you a gem right now. Last Apple week. Sword. No, no, <laughs> something different. I'm going to show them the power of credit. Last week, um, I took a challenge with Nehemiah Davis, right? And Neo had a special for his mastermind. It's $45,000 to get in Neo's mastermind. I'm going to say it again. $45,000. I got off the phone with Neo and I called American Express. American Express had my gold card at $15,000. I said, American Express, I'm about to join a mentorship that's going to skyrocket my business. I need a limit increase up to $45,000. They said, hold on. They transferred me to a guy in a department. He was asking me some questions. And he said, all right, Mr. Delavante, I cannot do it on one card. But because you have this amount of cards with us, what we can do is increase each card up to 25,000. I got four American Express cards. Time, do the math. That's 100K. 15 minute phone call. There is That's no the other, power of relationships. There is no other card I know you can do that on. Yeah, there's other ones. American Express is the only card I know that you can do that. In. And I've done that play many times. I've increased my limits many times with American Express. Double, even triple. Listen, y'all gotta get do, these cards. <laughs> yo, but what people do is this. They American. apply online. No, I'm speaking to somebody. I'm not applying online. It's just a thing for me. I like speaking with people. That's how I get information. Online, yeah, you can't talk to the to the um the automatic underwriter. But what I do is I'm gonna call in. I'm gonna speak to a representative. I'm gonna build that relationship up. Hey, how you doing? How's your family? How's everything going? Is everybody safe? I start a whole conversation speaking about their families. Right? Once I do that. Then it's like, oh, Mr. Delavanti, how can we help you? Well, this is what I'm looking into. Um, I'm going to use the example that I did with Neil. I said, I'm looking to join a mentorship group that right now is going to skyrocket my business. And they're like, okay. I said, I want to use American Express as my preferred choice because of all the benefits I'm going to receive. Because if I use this $40,000 on American Express, I know that my rewards points are going to go through the roof. 
And they're like, that is true. So I'm like, I want to make this purchase with American Express. I love this card and y'all can see that I run all my business expenses through my American Express. They're saying, yes, we've seen it. We've seen how your limits have grown. No problem. And bro, just like that. They didn't even pull my credit score. They didn't even pull it. Wait a minute. Didn't we tell you that last week? They didn't pull it. Amex, Amex is about relationship. You treat relationship. Amex good? They hey, never somebody, pull listen. squat. Somebody type relationships in the chat. Relationships with some fire emoji. Type that in the chat. I want to see that. Relationships. Relationships. Relationships is what's going to get you the bag. I don't know of any other card that I have that I could have gotten that um, that at high. They basically doubled my fifteen. Yeah, I basically got a. Yeah, it was three x. They three x my whole um, line in fifteen minutes. No pull. No pull. I'm inside the inner circle right now. What am I getting at? Y'all need to get in the habits of building relationship and learning to invest in yourself. Y'all cannot be stingy and thinking that because there's a cost of doing business, y'all think that, oh my God, I'm going to be stingy. You will never get off the ground. Your plane is going to be grounded. You're not in the room. You are not in the room where the conversations are happening. You need to get in the room. And to get in the room normally has a cost. There's a cost to get in the room. Listen up. Every, anybody who's been on my lives for the past two weeks, I've been going live every day after four. Every person I brought on this live, I paid to be in the room. They paid to be in the room. And we have an understanding that we understand the value of information and paying to get into the room. Say we understand again, the value of people who pay to get in the room. The and I'm not saying it's is, just because I don't I can take somebody know the serious cost. when they do the same thing. Bruh, they know the cost of everything but the value of nothing. That's the problem because they're seeing cost. It's not cost, it's value. This is not a medium state. Bruh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> This one is not medium. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to bite into this real quick before I yell at this man. <laughs> it's the value. We have to start going about value, 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 value. Get in the room. Because if you're not in the room, you're not privy to the conversations that's been happening. If you don't know the information, you can't transform and change your situation. Information changes compensation. Information changes conversations. Are you I'll in right. the room? Yeah, yeah, do your thing. Somebody say, get in the room. Let me see in the chat right now. Get in the room. Somebody needs to get in the room. Because if you're not in the room, you can't have the conversations. Nehemiah, Marcus, Mr. Two Weeks Out, Justin Owens, Alex Burton, these are all multi-millionaires. There's a cost to getting in the room with these guys. There is a cost. But I know the information, the types of conversations that they're going to have is on a whole nother level. If you're not in the room, you cannot have the conversations. The conversations in the rooms is worth more than a $40,000 investment. The conversation in that room, that's what's going to make me a millionaire. But if I didn't get in the room, if I was not able to get in the room, I wouldn't be able to have those conversations. Because what they're doing is they're giving the information, how do you make a million dollars in a day? I even heard Neil ask, how do you make a million dollars in an hour? I was like, bruh, I never even, I've never thought of that. But it's a whole new thinking. 
how like anybody in this live ever made a million dollars in an hour? I've never done that shit. So if somebody in here knows how to do that, let me know so I can join your inner circle. The conversation these guys are having are they're not normal conversations. So who's in your circle? Who who are the five people, ten people, average people that you were around? What value are you given? What value are they given? Are they just saying, yo, let's go out to the club, let's go out to the club? Or are they saying, yo, we need to have a million dollar day? Derek Harper, he just had three one million dollar days. I don't think some people heard me. The guy had three one million dollar days, three of them. It's a different type of conversation. So now when we're talking about are you in the room, are you in the room? You want to get shit off your credit. You got bad credit. There's late payments, charge off, high utilization. I just told you all that all three are illegal and shouldn't even be on there anyway. And I can prove it. But if you're not in the room to have the conversation, to get the information, you're still going to be stuck where you are. But then some people might look and say, well, the range VIP Zoom is $197. Yeah, and I can show you how to delete anything off your credit report. What's, 100, what's, what, what's $197 compared to deleting that charge off that's been getting you denied for the past four years off your credit? The real question is, Duran, what is bad credit costing you? Bruh, that, bruh you're going to get me started. Why you wanna, Why you want to do that? Why you want to get it, me on a rant? What, what is huh? it costing you? What is it costing right. you? Let's talk about what is the it velocity like, of like, money. Nah, but for real though, like, like think about it, right? You go, you go get, you go get a car because you feeding, you feeding for some wheels. You big feeding. Madam President, you, oh, I feel Madam, blessed today. I'm, you I'm here big with feeding. two presidents. <laughs> I am blessed. Hold up. So for those of you who don't know. I am blessed to be in a room with two chapter presidents right now. We got the New got York recession proof chapter president, cash money. We got the New Jersey chapter president, <laughs> Rashida. I am blessed to be in the room with two she she was Somebody up. say, she get in the room. Someone she say, she get in the she... room. I am in the room. I am in the room with the two <laughs> presidents from New York and New Jersey. Let's go, people. Yes. Listen. Hi. Listen. I'm like, I'm cash. She's trying to pull up as, as she the three. That's it. Like, <laughs> 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 listen, listen. You big feeding to get that car. You like, yo, I want to, I need a whip. I'm trying to walk in. I'm tired of, I'm tired of this. You feeding yourself to go to the dealership. Cause you don't have no patience. You feeding yourself to get this car, and now you feeding every every month stressed out because you don't pay. You paying nine hundred dollars for a twenty ten Kia Optima. Bruh. Like Yo, this is what we talking about. Free. I got a car for free last month, and I gave it to Maurice. Free. Of car. course, you gave it to Maurice, Maurice. Cause we know Maurice is in the room. Maurice is in the room. And a lot of people would say, oh, it's my car. I don't even lend my cousin my car. It's a free car. I gave it to him. What? I don't need it. I gave it to him so the car could make me some money and make him some money. Like, you're probably, you're probably asking, well, how did you get a car for free, Doreen? Well, shit, I'm going to tell you. It's called One Score. Somebody say One Score. Let me see y'all drop it in the chat. One Credit Score. It's called Experience. In the Northeast region, Kia pulls from Experian. I'm going to say it again. Here in New York, Northeast region, Kia pulls from Experian. I leveraged my Experian, went to Kia, got approved for a GT. Um, I can't remember the name of it. But it's like a It's your car. You don't even know the name of it? I don't, don't even know the name. I don't even know the name. I don't even know the name, bro. I just gave it to Maurice like two days later. I just, I, I don't know. When I get a car, I'm not going to drive it. 
I just gave it, right? I got gap included, everything included for free. But there's a thing called the things you don't know that you don't know. Uh -huh. They asked me for a down payment. I know on the truth in lending, when you're financing a car and you're doing a consumer credit transaction, down payments are not a part of the conversation. Down payments are illegal. Uh -huh. There is no cash transaction. I knew that, but I'm not going to show my whole hand yet because I want him to give me approval, right? They asked me for all sort of things. I said, no, all you're doing is you're going to run this credit. You're going to give me this car and I'm going to drive out. Oh, but you're not putting on down for down payment. I don't need to. So I got the car, but then I noticed in the contract, in the contract, gap, there's a box there for gap insurance. They will not tell you this. If you don't ask about your gap insurance, they won't include it in the finance charge. Uh -huh. So I was about to drive off the lot. With time out, time out, time out. What I tell you about that shit, you cannot drop little shit on here and then not explain it. You cannot try to smooth right. dry pass and not explain it. First of all, you got to explain what gap insurance is. And then you got to run it. What's up, Deborah? Every time she come in with the pink hearts, you have to explain what gap insurance is. And you got to run that back and run right, it back bet. slow. All right, bet. They take it so, notes. So <laughs> gap insurance is, you know, when you drive off the lot, the value of the car automatically drops 100%. Automatically. Oh, for it. So that gap insurance now is that insurance that protects the, the borrower in this case or the consumer for the difference between what the car is currently valued whenever an incident happens and what is remaining on the balance of that note. The gap insurance covers that gap between current value and what is owed. So I noticed the box for gap insurance wasn't checked. So I went back to the finance manager and I said, why didn't all, none of y'all tell me about gap insurance? He's like, oh, well, you know, the transaction was happening so fast, we forgot to tell you. I was like, really? I was like, really? I'm like, all right. Pull up truth in lending right now. He's like, pull up what? I'm like, pull up truth. He's like, pull up, I'm like, pull up truth in lending. I'm going to show you everything that needs to be in my finance charge. So I pulled it up, 15 USC, 1605, and I broke down what the finance charge was. Because he only know that it's a finance charge, but he doesn't comprehend what a finance charge is. Come on, you didn't undress, you didn't, you didn't undress this man in the dealership, did you? Hey, hold on, hold you on. You undressed on. this man. You made this man undress his, himself. I, but he, I, I'm, I'm but, shutting up. I mean, I'm shutting up. I'm, I'm eating my, I'm, I'm eating my potato. Shut up. A, he said he was a finance manager for 20 years. How do you not know this? But you think that's you really beside, didn't know? That's beside the point. So I pulled up Truth in Lending, and I showed him where it talks about insurance and premiums that are included in the finance charge. And I said... I want gap in this finance charge. I'm not paying for this shit. I already did when you ran my credit. Put gap in the finance charge. So the finance charge at the time was I think around like four or five thousand dollars. And then when the gap got added, it was an additional thousand dollars that changed the finance charge. Y'all need to comprehend. I paid zero out of pocket. I put not one dollar. Not one dollar I put on that car. Zero out of pocket, gap insurance included, full coverage, the whole works. And then I gave the car to Maurice. That's the power of credit. That's what Rashida and Cash be talking about here every day. Y'all need to get in the room. If y'all don't get in the room, y'all will not know this information. When you go VIP on Sunday for the Zoom, this is the type of stuff that only VIPs can talk about. When we start the Zoom, we're going to start a regular Zoom that is covering the Fair Credit Reporting Act because there's some stuff in the Fair Credit Reporting Act that a lot of people are not getting. 
People think that your credit score and your credit profile are the same. They are not the same. Two separate things. Your consumer report does not have a score. Your consumer file doesn't have a score because it's only a report. What you see that has the credit score is your FICO part of it. The FICO is not a part of your consumer report. Fear as a corporation is a separate company that uses information on your consumer report or credit report that is put into this algorithm that spits out your risk score. They are not the same. So when well, I me, tell you all... So let you me know. answer that real quick. So a lot of people don't even know they have over 50 credit scores, right? <laughs> so what he's talking about, your credit, your consumer report, this consumer report, as it relates to credit, because there are a lot of different types of consumer reports. So this personal credit consumer report, your credit file, what that is, is that's input data, right? And what each different bureau and each different Call form. Call them by their action. name, Madam President. Mm -mm. Oh, no, sorry. There's only one bureau. Don't let me get on each you, Each different credit reporting agency. Call them by their name. Really? Okay. So who we're talking... All right. Because it's a lot, right? So it I'm is. General. So who we're talking about primarily is Experian, Equifax, mm. and TransUnion. But there's also checks systems. There's also CoreLogic. There's LexisNexis. There's Experian Business. There, mm -hmm. Like, there's so many, what are, what are, what are we calling them Consumer, here? consumer, consumer reporting, reporting agencies. Consumer reporting agencies. We're going right? to get in the habit of calling them by their real name. Because they be uh, fooling out. They be out here fooling people, bro. Thinking yeah, that so that's bureaus. another point. They're not bureaus. They're not affiliated with a the government. These are private companies. They are touching. They are private companies that Touchable. took on themselves. They 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 assumed a role, and, and they it. and they and they fucking your life up. Let's be real. <laughs> Ooh, Let's you be talking spicy? You I'm talking sorry. spicy now? I'm being yeah. honest. I'm being honest. I know people, and people literally be stressed out about this, right? Stressed out because you don't know what to do. About yourself, stressed out because of credit. Your son done ran your credit up. And you, he done he done got your car. He done told her the car that you co-signed for him. He don't have a job to pay it. Now you stressed out because you don't got the car and you don't got no and you don't got the money to pay it because he done did some mm. wild shit and you bait. No like, you gap stressed out because bro. they got no, no gap, gap insurance. You stressed out. You stressed out because because you fell on hard times. They took they took your house. They foreclosed. Now you got your life back together. You gotta wait three years for you to buy another one. You stressed out. Because you got a bankruptcy years ago on your personal when you should have been doing all your stuff in your business and bankrupt that business. But that's another conversation. Cash. You stressed out because you got this bankruptcy and now you can't do <laughs> shit for seven years. But when these banks stress you out, they, they could, it's done. It, 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 they have no punishment for what it is. So we None. telling y'all, right? They've been, no these credit reporting agencies been fucking your life up. I'm going to lay fuck my life up. That's why the hell I started figuring out what the, who the fuck, who the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> who are these people that screwing my shit? Like, who are these people? Y'all making my life a living hell. I can't get nothing. Who are you? Do y'all even know who Logic is? Do you even know the who Lexus Nexus is? Do you know who ARS is? Bro. Did you ever sign a contract with them to hold your information? But we're not going to even go too are you deep. Be, are you but... getting benefits from them selling your information? Like, did they cut any of you mm -hmm. a check? Because I'm still waiting on my check. Thank I didn't you. get no check. But they make billions off of my information. I didn't get a check. Where is my I'm check? I'm literally going to trademark and copyright my name and start selling them invoices. Who, who told them they could? What about that? Did you, did you get a check? Sure. You did you get a check? Not yet. For them, you, for them using your information? Because I know I didn't, I, I didn't get a check. <laughs> I'm waiting for my check. Uh, we, Run I'm me sorry, my I went coins. To, I, went on, I went on a rant. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, so the whole point. point is like we, and even you see me, I know it's not a bureau, but I, I even slip up and call it a bureau because that's that's what they're Program galloping they tra they training. They, they are training a you. regular Lexus, co like companies. Lexus. Lexus. He sound like the he sound like the motherfucker from Batman. They used to call that, call that <laughs> wild shit. That's what it sound like. 
Lexus. If someone's at one forty four and counting, I I could I could start reporting if I wanted to. I'm not going to because I know how fraudulent it is, right? But that's that's what they are. They're reporting agencies. And Doreen is gonna put y'all on on the Zoom. Doreen is gonna put y'all onto the laws and rules they're supposed to be abiding by. But the whole gag is they will not unless you know and you enforce it. Information. I don't even know where this lab was going today. I don't even know where this lab was going today. You guys are opening my eyes every day. You can't you can't predict everything. Some things just happen. It's one of those things with life. It just happened. And right now, everybody that's on your live right now, because this is your live, the value of what they're receiving for free right now, it's beyond comprehension right now. Because if you can learn how to delete anything off your consumer report, what can that information do for you? And this is why, like I keep telling people, that's why I now have a VIP. Because even though we're going to be talking about the Fair Credit Reporting Act, VIPs, you're getting two whole hours. You're getting two hours more than anybody else. If you really want to learn this sauce, I'm telling you the VIPs where to go because I'm going to break all of this shit down. Once the regular Zoom starts, it's strictly FCRA. Being VIP allows you to get in the room before anybody else. Somebody say get in the room because you need to get in the room. Type that in the chat, that. get in the room. I'm saying not only that, but you want to network with the people who are in that room, right? You want to you want to have those conversations. You want to see who you click with. Um, I heard you talking about Neil. Neil says he doesn't go to conference for all the information. He goes for that one nugget, one thing. So I'm gonna give. I'm glad you said that, Cash. It'd be that one two person, weeks that ago. One nugget that changed the bag, bro. Two real, weeks ago, I cracked the code. For Nehemiah's forty-seven dollar ebook, it's been crazy. Nehemiah went on David Shine's Social Proof podcast, and he broke the whole game down uh-huh. for the forty-seven dollar ebook play. Stop by stop. This, this, the strategy is true. You know why? I got in the room. I watched the podcast. I used an hour out of my time, and it was just that one thing. They talked about wow. many things, but like Cash just said, that one thing, that one thing, you, you got that one thing that changed your whole life. Listen, the only reason why we on the, we on the screen right now is because we got in the same room. Bruh, I would have never known you. I would have never known Cash. I would have never known Sheeta. I would have never known none of you if I didn't get in the room. I don't want to say they're my paid friends. I talk to them more than my free friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Bro, I don't even have free friends I, anymore. And I'm, I probably I'm have like you, less than five. I'm going to tell you, and it's, and it's nothing against my free friends. Like my friends I grew up with, my friends I, I love them. Like those are my, those are my that made me more of the person I am, like the relationship I have with them. I, I can I can see genuine people. But I'm going to tell you right now, like, they don't know what y'all know. They don't know what the next room know. And they might mm. not be there mentally to get to get to that level. Your family might not be there. You, you might not, they might not understand you right now. So you need to, you need to find a way to be around people who understand you. They you know what it is, Rashida? Your struggle. They understand you, know what you it is? try your failures. They understand it. Are they telling their big dreams to small-minded people? Are they planting their seed in a teaspoon of dirt? It's not going to grow. It's not. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. It's not going to grow. Because not everyone you start with, you're going to finish with. It doesn't work like that. So... Oh. so Go ahead. Go no, ahead. Well, I was I was just gonna say like I have tips for people who um you feel like that you're the um the biggest or the smartest or the richest, whatever it is you're striving to be in your friend group. Um like we're talking about the mentorship that we join, but also we have our own communities, right? And in our communities, 
are people who are who have invested in themselves, right? And they're trying to get better. Another thing, another gem I dropped in a different live was go to your mentors' mentors. Mm. Mm. Right? That's what I started doing this year. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You got to mm. break that down, Cash. What I tell you, what I tell about doing that kind of stuff, you cannot say stuff. Go to like your mentors, that mentors, them, that makes sense. Uh uh. Example, give it an example, break it all the way down. So, my one of my primary mentors is Marcus Barney, right? Him 500. If y'all want to join that community with us, definitely hit us up. We got a link. But what mm -hmm. we're saying is, I went to his mentor, Myron Golden. Mm. Man, you were and even before that, even before that, I, I, I skipped a couple levels. I went to Grant Cardone. Are you ready to start this conversation? This is a whole nother conversation right now. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe You're I You're not am. ready to get in the room. That's the problem. Oh, I tapped, in, I tapped into in one room. of their mentors, Eric Thomas. You got to tap in. Yeah. Who are our mentors' mentors? And then who's their mentor? You need to understand there are levels to it. And the thing is, when you get in those rooms, then you're, you're networking with Bruh. people at your mentor's level or above your mentor's level. And they actually got time to talk. They're friendly. They're trying to find people. So they're giving up more gems than usual. Now they like you. So I'm in the inner circle, right? And someone okay. posted in the inner, the inner circle. I'm not going to call whose name it is, but she, it's a female too. She posted in the, in the, in the, in the inner circle. She had a $500,000 day. I was like, bruh, you just made me so nervous. I need to go back to the drawing board. A five, and it's a regular conversation. It is so regular in the group. But some people work $50,000 for the year and think that $500,000 in one day is out of your reach. It's not. What's out of your reach is information. Are you willing to get in the room to get the information? Yep. Dude, I got so nervous. I had to redo my whole plan. She said I had a 500K day. I was like, no, you did not. I was like, no. Bruh. And she, a, she, she's not satisfied bruh. with that. Bruh. She wants the million. Her goal is a million dollars. Yes. She wants the shoe. That's what she's gunning for. Yeah. She's and that's gunning the thing. for the million dollar day. That's what I love about us. Like, we're having billion billionaire conversations. And one thing about them, they force me to think bigger for myself. They force me to set my goals bigger than what I thought was originally possible. Right? Because before... I used to think six figures was a lot. In business, six figures is nothing. My yeah. first round of funding, I got six figures. It stretched to nowhere. <laughs> got seven. A little bit. It's true, isn't it true? Think about <laughs> if you all the plays you want to do, how many plays you could do with just a hundred thousand dollars? Not a lot. Shit. One. Probably one. Two and a half. Right? So that that's another thing about getting into the room. Your, your whole world changes mm -hmm. once your, your mind expands. Right? Yes. We know getting a jet, that's within our reach. We're still going to play that jet play because, you know. We are. We need to. That, that, NY, that NYNJ, uh, NYNJ jet. Yep. We're gonna call the jet cheetah. <laughs> Don't say that. I'm gonna I'm hold it through. This live is safe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> but yeah, so like we're talking about jets. We're talking about million dollar, multi million dollar life insurance policies. We're talking about buying hotels. We're talking about revenue stream. We're talking 100K in a day, million dollars in a day. We're talking all these things because we got into a room with like minded people who's executing, who's ready to invest in themselves. Mm, invest I like in that them. word. I, I, I like I that word, Cash. Execute. Somebody in the chat type, execute. 
I want you to type executing the chat and put a lot of fire in the word. Execution. Are you I'm, executing? Mm. Don't even get me started about how she did several master classes over the past week. Like literally four hour lives, breaking it down, breaking them through a whole mentorship curriculum. And Y'all no bullshit. Are people getting Apple cards. People getting Apple cards. I dropped yesterday. Somebody went after the live, went back, opened up their LLC. Hold on. Getting Apple cards on the live? Hold on. They're getting Apple cards on the live? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the that's, that's a whole that's different whole game. Input. And that's good to see. But what about the real estate information? What about the Turo information? What about the passive income stream information? Mm. What about the MS place? So, like, yes. Apple Card, no ink. I applaud the people who did it on the spot, but now that was that was yesterday. What's up? What's up today? What's up today? Action takers are money makers. Yesterday's prices are not today's prices. Let's go. I'm gonna tell y'all something, right? And Cash, Cash, Cash mentioned something. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell y'all what about level of commitment, right? So when I was like 25, don't age check me. I'm still 25. Um, I was like, how old I are had, you, bro? You still look like uh, I'm an ID you at the club. It's the smile. So, um, I, uh, I was, I never really worked a real job until like, I was like 25, well, 20, 22, because I played basketball my whole life. So I really had no time. And you know, if you, if you actually play collegiate or professional basketball, like you have no time to work. So I didn't get my first job until like early later in life. Right. And I ain't gonna lie. Who is that? The rain? You washing your hands? So we, uh, so I went and I applied for this job, this insurance job. I wanted to understand how it works. I went and applied for insurance and they called me like two days later to come to an interview in a day. I was working like a little home health aid job type of joint at the time. I took off two days. I drove to New York. I had an interview that morning. I drove up there. I was speaking to the manager. He asked me, he, told, he asked me to tell me something about myself. I was like, well, you know, I just finished driving nine hours for the interview. And I went through the whole interview. When he hired me, he said, to be honest, you told me you drove nine hours for the interview. You got hired on the spot because that's the level of determination we need to have for you to be successful in this job. I worked as an insurance sales agent for two years. I'm going to tell you what I learned during those two years because I had to, sometimes you have to get in the room of a certain industry to understand the importance of it and why it works, right? Uh, I, didn't know, I didn't know anything about insurance before that. I knew you had to have car insurance in your car, and I knew I kept insurance on my phone in case it broke. I didn't know anything about life insurance. I know people have had it, and that's people when you pass away, it gets, that's what you get. I didn't you know anything about on your phone, but not on your life. Yo, that's all I knew. That's all I knew. I didn't know that. I didn't know nothing else about it. I get, I, I get the job. I start learning. They make you take the class. You got to get your license. You got to learn all these things. And I'm like, wait a minute. You mean it's, it can be used for more than just, you know, paying out a death, paying out a death benefit when somebody passes? You mean that you mean I could leverage my life insurance for my for my house? You mean I could use my life insurance as collateral? You mean I could use my life insurance as a bank? You mean I could go to myself? You mean I could go to Sheeta 3 bank and get out this money? So I'm gonna tell y'all, right? There's several several types of life insurance, and I'm gonna break this down. Before, I'm gonna break this down for y'all because I definitely wanted to make this a topic of conversation. And since I'm on it, it's in my mind. I'm gonna break it down. So right now, there's two general terms. Now within these two umbrellas, there are like many, many layers. Uh -huh. The suspense, permanent, and what? <laughs> so it's so it's so it's whole life. Whole or, or permanent, whole or permanent, essentially the same thing. Don't let my trying to talk you out of it. Or it's it's term life, right? Now I want you guys to understand what these insurances are, because I don't know if you guys understand it properly before you start making decisions, right? So term life, term life insurance is exactly what it sounds like. It lasts for a term. It lasts for a period of time. Okay? It's like an installment loan. You have it for 10, 20, or 30 years, right? It also you can also think about it as in as if you're renting an apartment. I'm renting an apartment for 30 years, 10 years, right? You pay rent to your landlord. You pay rent to your landlord, and guess what? At the end of your at the end of your term, he gonna tell you either that the price went up, that price either went up, 
or he kicking you out. That's what happens at the end of a term policy. What happens is with those term policies, people don't realize that at the end of that 10, 15, 20, or 30 year policy, you're older, your body changed. So now when they kick you out or they say you're going up, it's because they're going based off of what you are now. When you started that policy, you was 20, you 30 now. You didn't develop the smoking habit. You, you, didn't, you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't ate many steaks and now your, your heart is plugged up, right? So now they're looking at your health like, yo, um, we're going to fact, yeah, I don't know what people doing. <laughs> I don't know what people doing. But now they're looking at your health like, yo, you got to, you got to, you, you're not the same person. So now your policy went from being maybe $25 to $100. That's a term, that's term life insurance. I never recommend people get that unless they got kids. Unless they got kids or unless you know about this money back term policy where they pay you back all your premiums tax free at the end of your term. Wait. I'll bring that back. It's called a money back term policy or return a premium policy. Not a lot of insurance companies have it. Prudential used to have it, but they don't make a lot of money on it. So anytime they drop that product, it don't sit out for long. I think AIG got really? it. It's called a return a premium. You could Google it. At the end of the term, 15, 20, 30 years, all the premiums Ooh. you paid into it, they're going to pay it back to you tax free. The reason why they pay it back tax free is because they gave no interest. You gave no interest on the money. <laughs> So if you put in, you can get a you can get a million dollar term policy at twenty five, term policy for like a hundred bucks return a premium. At the end of the thirty years, they're gonna they're gonna pay you back whatever that was. So you could do was a hundred times twelve times thirty. They're gonna pay that back to you in a tax free check, or they're gonna try to swindle you to do a a, a they call it a, a, a one um, a single premium whole life policy. But that's a piece of shit because you're you're thirty years older. So wow. you got to be strategic. So that's a term policy, right? Now let's go to a whole life. There's many different whole life products. But the whole point of whole life is that it lasts your whole life. It's permanent. It's always there. You turn 100, it's still there. It don't expire. And I compare term policy to renting apartment. A whole life policy is like owning a home. You got equity. You could take from it. You don't have to give it back. That's why, people, that's why people talk about this infinite banking. They talk about these um, FF, these IULs. Because whole life policies are like owning a house. But instead of owning a house, you're owning your policy. You're gaining interest and in gains on your policy. The earlier you start it, the cheaper it is. That's whole life. Now, you can go all the way down into it. I could go into variable, all that other shit. But essentially, it lasts your whole life. The earlier you get it, the better it is. Now I'm gonna tell y'all, other insurance companies, and I, I don't like to, I don't like to name bash, but some of them will tell you some bullshit like buy a term policy, invest the difference. They're fucking lying. You're never gonna do that. You should get both, in my opinion. Get both. One will expire. You still have the other one. And if you're strategic and you get the term policy that give you back your premiums at the end of the term, thirty years, you got another check coming in thirty years. God forbid something happened to you Bruh. during that time, you got a bag. You, you can blowing my mind right now, bro. Yo, I'm like, writing no. Like we, we need a whole, we need a whole insurance breakdown. We need a, we need to set that up. Yeah, I want to. I I'm just me, stumbled learning. upon some shit. I gotta show y'all. Hold up, I gotta show y'all this shit. I literally just stumbled up on this. You cannot see. Yeah. You cannot. What do you think this is? Just... The big screen. <laughs> bro. I'm I'm on the bureaus. I'm on the law section right now for the bureau, and I'm under the um, adjustment of civil penalty and how you can get some remedy. And I'm looking at the tiers, and then the the dollar cost associated with the violations, Bruh, I don't know if y'all are seeing what I'm seeing. Oh, it's so loud. Oh, million. Oh, bruh. Million. Bruh. I, I, okay. Bruh. bruh. We are going to do a live on insurance sometime. We have to. I've and never heard insurance broke down like this before. So go ahead and follow everybody here and put your notifications on. Especially me. I never tell anyone when I'm going live. And sometimes it is live. <laughs> <laughs> so serious. Sometimes well, they know it it's, after four, it's after four for me-ish. <laughs> you got to catch me when you catch me, okay? So... Do not DM Peter. 
for insurance. Wait, are you still selling? I don't know. I don't. I just learned it. If I, so, what I'm telling y'all is, if I never went into that industry, I would have never learned it because the people I'm around ain't rocking with that. They said they sliding in your DMs for the insurance. No, don't do that. <laughs> We're having. I've and, never <laughs> had insurance break down like this before. Really? Yo, yeah, I that, I, that's I I lose pillars business. of wealth, right? That's one of the pillars of wealth. If you want to be oh, wealthy. Oh, I know. I know, and I bought four books on it. I haven't gotten to it yet, but Rashida, you just sparked something that I need to take up this week. Yep. See? And Get in the room. What if I wasn't in the room right now? What if he wasn't on this live? Are you going to share this live out? You want to see your friends go watch it? Go understand what it is? Because once, once you understand Rashida, what it is, once you understand what it is, though, yeah. Am I able to put your live on my page? Can I, am I able to do that? Um, you well, could share it. I don't. I don't know if you could do that. Um, oh, you mean on your screen? Yeah, yeah. Story on your feed. On my page in my in my, in my post. post. And then you do it as a um, IGTV. I don't even care as long as it's there. This type of information has to be shared. I want it on the page. Absolutely. Because if y'all not in the room, y'all not getting these type of conversation. Send it to me too. Um, but yeah, so what she started on, right? That's how the wealthy do insurance. Okay, so the wealthy they have special types of insurance, like underwritten a specific way to make them money, right? And what we're what we're getting is the policy that doesn't really focus that much on the death benefit. Makes sense when she says if you can get that return of premium policy just in case right and then we have it focused on the cash right so we have it's connected to an indexed account doing stuff going our money is going to work for us getting traded all of that good stuff bringing us mm -hmm. back with a certain level of return Everything. if the economy like if the economy tanks which I believe next year will, our money's not falling that's what an index account means. It's it's like a ladder. You can't go down to it past a certain point. Yeah, and that's how they reduce the tax write off. So if you load it on the front end, when you pull it out, so you borrow from yourself, you don't pay you don't pay on that. And then also if you taking it out or whatever you you designated it to do. All right, but we ain't real deep in that. So tune in this week. Nah. We can, we can. <clears throat> that was just, that was the intro to y'all. That was the intro. That was the intro because I don't know what you guys know. And I tell you guys this, right? I teach seventh grade math. When I teach things, I make sure that you understand it at the basic level. You have to understand it at the basic level. A lot of times you guys let your policies lapse. And I'm going to tell y'all something. You guys let your policies lapse. Your whole life policies. Your grandmother took something out for you when you was younger. She gave it to you. You never, you never took care of the policy. Do you know that your policy doesn't lapse until all the money, the cash value in the policy actually goes away? Really? Your policy has cash value. If you stop paying it, the cash value carries the balance. If you cancel or you close or you, if you close out a whole life policy, if your policy has cash value, that money's owed to you. Do you know people just let the policy lapse and leave it? That is crazy. I don't know the Do you know how many clients I had? And I'm like, do you know that your policy had money? They're like, what? I'm like, you let your policy cancel and you have three more and this policy has money in it. This lady found out she had $4,000 in insurance policy and she was worried about money. I said, just, I said, go ask for the cash value. Keep the one that you have. I don't know what company you got it with, but if you could hold that and now you got some money, you're not stressing but out. But how she would calls, people she find out me. about this though? That's the, that's my question. How would someone know if there's a policy on them? It's on your paper. Oh, yeah. So we got to start. Wait, what's your question? What's your question? You're asking so how do they know someone, if they have insurance? For someone who doesn't know anything, and let's say my grandma took out a policy, but she passed before she could tell me information. So I don't know nothing, right? And I, I'm, I'm curious now because I'm on your live and I just heard what you broke down. How can I find out if there's a policy on me? Is there like a database I can check to see if there's a policy on me? No. Oh, no, quick gem. 
unclaimed money in anywhere you've any state you've ever lived right so sometimes a company will really want to give you your money can't find you so they turn it over to the state mm. this is a business model as well mm. even go I, i've seen like millions of dollars on there what people do is reach find the person reach out to them and ask for 10 percent. i'm not telling y'all to do that what i'm telling y'all to do is whatever state you're in google unclaimed funds the state look for the official state website right so like new, i know new york state is the office of the comptroller of course it is <laughs> and of course it is for your money if you claim it if you say okay this is really me and they verify you they'll give you that money so that could be one way to find out if um if you did have it Bro, you um, but he, wait, wait, he was asking figure business i did you did you did Listen up, listen up. What he was asking is, if your grandmother has a policy on you, and this is why, if your grandmother has a policy on you, she passes, she never tells you. I'm going to tell you something. This is why you need to have family conversations. Stop being afraid about talking about money and situations with your family. Do You mm -hmm. have no idea how many conversations I was in where somebody passed away and there's a whole situation, family argument about property, insurance, mm -hmm. business, and stuff because mm -hmm. we're afraid to have these conversations. No estate I'm gonna planning. I'm going to no say something that's very all. taboo. You're muted. Rashida, you're muted. Oh, Can you hear me now? Can you yeah. hear me now? I'm going to say something that is very taboo. Everybody's going to die. You just Perhaps. have to... Nobody oh! knows when. <laughs> nobody knows when. You, you drag it? You trying to push your grandma in the grave? Why you yeah. want to talk about death, huh? Why you want to talk about her dying? It's everybody's going to do it. I know. They just everybody's so going to do it. Everybody's going to do it. It's, it's whether you plan well so that either it's taken care of or you plan well so that whatever you whatever you were working for, because everybody goes to work, everybody's busting their ass, everybody's doing something for a reason. Make sure that what the reason you was doing it makes sense when you're not there. I'm sorry. This this baked potato was fire. I don't know what they put in it, but geez, Louise. <laughs> Butter. Remember the clogged arteries you was talking about? Here you go. <laughs> I need a plunger. Hey. <laughs> so I don't know what's up. But no, that, um, I heard, what was it? Um, I think Ramel was saying every year he has um a family planning meeting, a sit down, right? He mm -hmm literally strategizes the family moves for the next year like my family is just now starting to get like money conscious because i lit i just talk about credit right so no now, it makes people uncomfortable and you'll see people start leaving you'll see people start stop hanging out with you dude all you talk about is credit and business you're goddamn right so if you're not about that conversation you know you know I, right? you know you know where i'm I not gonna miss the friendship at? You know where I have those conversations at too? When I'm on vacation and you at work stressed out. <laughs> you at work stressed out. And because oh, and because you think you gotta pay <laughs> you think you gotta pay for this trip, so you stressed out. Dominic. And then you know where oh, I also have these conversations at? I Go to your room. I have these, I have these conversations in first class while you buy the toilet stressed phone. out. Yeah, but these are definitely um important conversations to have. Um I literally had my mom, because my mom, she just likes life insurance, and I'm just waiting to structure her infinite banking the right way, because she got, like, she's over, she's over policy. I don't even know, over-covered, right? Um, no such but, thing! But, um, <laughs> <laughs> she probably got, like, three-term, one whole, I don't know what's going on. But I asked her, like, I was like, I, okay, I know you have um, an insurance policy for me, what is it? And then she she gave it she gave me the info. <clears throat> I was up to me to call them, ask them what is this? What's the cash value? What's going on? I'm not trying to start paying for it yet because oh my family they're, they're gems. So my grandma's still paying for my mom and her sister's insurance. <laughs> my mom's still listen, paying. and they still paying for it. Why why the hell you take over the check? I ain't gonna say right? yeah, I'm about to I'm about to liquidate some stuff too and throw everything to insurance. 
I'm going to liquidate a lot of stuff and put all my stuff into insurance. The, from what I've learned about insurance and the breakdown of what I'm getting from Sheeta right now, I still got a few more books on insurance that I need to finish reading. But I'm telling you all, this insurance game is going to be a game changer, especially when that insurance policy now gets tied to a trust. It's going to be a whole different mood. Oh, it's yeah. a whole mood. And um, I, I had a consultation last week or the week before, um, and I was asking him, I was like, okay, so if we front load this policy, right, because that's another thing you can do. You could just load mm -hmm. it up as much as you want, okay? Um, he was saying 100K is when you really start seeing that compounding, but you, you aim for, like, 50 is a, right? So as long as it's, like, 50 to 100K, you'll, you'll start seeing immediate return. Just we so you definitely need to set up an insurance. This is a this is a this is a different live. Yeah, we we we're gonna do it live for that, and we're gonna set up a Zoom for that. It's a it's a con just like credit. It's another conversation that must be had. Did there you, is did no you going around it. it in the Discord? Say again. Did you watch the Zoom that we did in the Discord? I haven't really been in the Discord for a minute. I've been. Oh, focused, this, girl. you're gonna love it. Really. So I'm going to tell you something. Y'all having a private conversation for public people. Sorry. Uh, mm. yes, you got um, to get in the room and get in our Discord. You got to get in the room. I, mean, I keep saying it. Somebody say get in the room. If you're not in the room, oh, my God. There's another president in the chat, too. Uh -huh. Chris? All right. Now, Brandon. Oh. I haven't seen Chris yet. Oh, the whole squad's pulling up. Shit. I'm going to tell you something. A crazy Discord. I am, yo, it's beautiful. Um, so I'm actually I'm dropping my mentorship later this month. Finally, it's a whole business model too. Wink, and wink. If if I wink, uh, wink, wink. If I that's like, a, bro, that's a twenty-five thousand dollars skill. What do you mean? I can build out businesses, whole chats, Discord. That's a whole 25. Bro, I'm not giving you that business model right here. We're going to talk later. Somebody say get in the room. Because that what you're doing is a whole 20. That consultation to build out that Discord for, for any business, the way you have it structured, is a whole $25,000 minimum. Okay. So it depends what room you want to get in. Okay. Um, if you There's get multiple in, rooms. <laughs> That's when we're talking about people really invest in ourselves. Well, we super invested. I'm a, so it started. It started with this, right? And I'm gonna tell you how. The, I'm gonna tell you how this game started. How this? Oh my I call God. It Let's go. Game. So we all essentially joined recession proof. That's how we met, right? Yep. Then we found out we all live in the same area and we think the same, mm -hmm. which was great. Then we linked up. Then mm -hmm. cash, cash money. Started the Discord. She started organizing information. Now, when I tell you the way she organized information. You can't get lost. Even if you find, <laughs> you can be Ray Charles, and if you want to combine, you will. If you get lost, just you you just didn't have a head, right? Because there's a voice channel too. It's all of that, right? After we got in the room, we started realizing, yo, everybody has certain skill sets, right? We started realizing and focusing on what our skill set is. Like, what am I good at? What what can I communicate effectively? What's my superpower? And what, what's exactly what is that? Right? Cash business consulting. Uh, Doreen, consumer law. She the three. Credit to, credit to cash. You want to know how to get this money? I'll show you how to do it, right? So I started creating our, we started creating our own rooms. We started creating our own rooms because now it's like, okay, you might not need everything that's in our big room. You're not ready for mm -hmm. that yet. You might mm -hmm. just need, you might need credit to cash. You might need to learn how to child for free, how to leverage your life. Mm -hmm. You might be stressed mm -hmm. out by bills for what? You got a wallet. You got power in that. Go get, go leverage Ooh. that, right? What then, power is in your wallet? What power is in there, right? <laughs> Shit. Shit. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> then you go, then you go down, and you like, all right, but I got all these stuff. I got, I'm stressed out. These bills, this, this charge off killing me. Student loans killing me. Yo, Doreen's mm. like, yo, you have power as a consumer. Stop thinking that you're a chump. You're not mm, a mm, chump. Mm. Like, you're not a chump. Now, after you don't fix your credit, you know how to turn credit to cash. Cash gonna mm -hmm. teach you. Look at that credit to cash. Cash is gonna teach you how to get cash money. Credit, how to get business credit. Tevin gonna teach y'all how to get business credit. Brandon gonna teach y'all how to get business credit. 
And what Brandon specializes in is how you use business credit to invest in real estate. No money it's out of pocket. No money out of pocket. It's a whole nother mood. Who want a free house? <laughs> Who wants a free house? Bruh. Like right now on my that Amex. That was your ticket. I'm Did positive I can go buy a house in Baltimore for one of my Amex now. I'm going to start. Facts. I'm going to start calling people out. Y'all got your ticket. <laughs> So, yeah, so there are several rooms, right? There's our yeah. mentor that we're in, that if that's what you want, okay, DM us. There's our mentorships that we have, mm -hmm. which I will say, fire, right? Um, if that's what you want, if we already have it established, like, you know, get in the room. She so you know how you do that? It's her consultation. To rain how you do that, that's his do for self community, right? Me, it's loading. If, if y'all want me to make a wait list, I will. So, <clears throat> the other thing a lot of people need to understand is they, they talk about free consultation. I don't do free consults. Hey, free it's consultation. A, it's a thousand dollars an hour, two hour minimum. Any one and one start at twenty five thousand dollars. I am not about that life. Who's who's is a thousand dollars an hour? Mine. You're not listening. You're supposed to be at least at two. I know, but I, I try to make it so everybody can get it. But it's like, what am I really doing? I'm done Let playing. Because I'm going to get on his case because he's always on mine. If y'all want a consultation with Duray, you better get it today. Because tomorrow's, like, yesterday's price is not going to be tomorrow's price. Nope. Cause I it is two hours. Because it's two hour minimum. So you are correct. No, no. Yeah. Oh, it's supposed to be four. So let me tell y'all what my a consultation with me right now is six thousand dollars for a half an hour and five for an hour. Now let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something about these people on this stage. And I'm lowballing it. She is. I, the real question is right. What is what is what is your your financial health worth to you? <laughs> That's really what it is. Are you gonna still keep overpaying for stuff? Are y'all still gonna be stressed out? We giving y'all information. I'm one gonna just give play. We are, play. You're one. You're one good move away from actually moving yourself properly. Like my my thing was, I was one. I was one Zoom call away. I got on the Zoom call. I got in the room. My life changed. I'm gonna tell you a thousand percent. My life changed. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not letting anybody else up on this uh, live because I have to go. I have to go run this play because the store closed at seven. And if, <laughs> go run that play. If you in my if you ever took my credit to cash class, hey, yo, cash, how was the class, by the way? It was amazing. Highly recommend. How was the Run class, the cash? Play. It's it's Run top. The play. How, how much Some money you made? You made back so far, cash. So at the moment, being lazy, I will say, I don't like telling people stuff like that. Nah, we have. <laughs> how much money you done made so, off the class? The loan, thirty six hundred. How much, how much is my class? Thirty-six. And how much was the class? How much was the class? Hundred. So you so doubled your money. People don't understand that even though I taught you how to computer, double your money. That's what you I'm. Get, I'm her, bro, her price needs to go up too. Bro, they don't understand because we're friends. They think like it's free. No, it's not free. I'm gonna pay Rashida for her time. I'm gonna pay cash for her time because if I can't support your business as my friend, I am not a good friend. I'm not here to leech off of you. I'm here to build and grow with you. So if I'm not going to pay the cost for your program, I am not your friend. And that is facts. And sometimes we barter. I will say that. But you got to be... Equal value. It got to be equal value. value. Can be equal trade value. Equal va I'm with equal value all day. But when you come... Chita, oh, you I want you to help Hold on. I made $1,000 in, in two days after the class. They joined the Let's class. Let's go. They jo and that's when I had a special. So they made their money back because I had this special. Wells Fargo paid me 500 for my car. I took 500 off the class. Oh, I had wow. this special. So you went and you paid $1,000 to take my credit to cash class. My classes now go up to four hours because I'm giving you everything I got to the point where people like, Nah, I wasn't. Everybody literally says I wasn't prepared for that. Like I thought it was a basic MS class. I said, I'm not basic. No, ain't nothing basic about nothing that we do. Um, 
popular knowledge. It's not the same old, same old that all these MS gurus are pushing out there. No, it's like actually a well thought out class. And one thing about Sheeta is she does like she lives. She, MS. She's about to do the play right I, now. Right I'm literally, now. I'm literally, I literally, the story is literally gonna close. She's she about to run the play. Uh, what's going to happen hey, Sheeta, is, before we close real quick, I'm going to tell the new people one more time about the Zoom. Sure. Listen, if y'all are not tapped into the Zoom I'm going to be having tomorrow, y'all are missing out. Y'all are not getting in the room. Y'all need to get in the room. The website is pinned right there. Get the VIP. This is what we're going to discuss in the VIP. We're going to break it all down. Get in the room. All right, Cash Money, talk to us before Sheeta goes. I was telling her not to end the live, but just to go in the store. But I guess we can. <laughs> Wait, I could, I could nah. leave it. I could leave it up. Nah, I just don't nah, want a little nah, service. Nah, nah. <laughs> nah. okay. end the live for the simple fact that people need to go take action. You got uh, a lot of information in this Zoom call, for real, for real. I'm at Zoom call, look at me. They need, and it's people IG need to go live. take action. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of, a lot of things I need to go implement. I'm not going to lie. I am going to run. I do not know if I'm going to lose service. That's why I said, like, I... Bro, just to... run the business. Because last, last time when I went through the thing and I lost service, I lost a live. And, you know, I, I saved all of it. And this shit here... Listen, go run the play. Go this run shit the play. Here? If they want to... If they, if they put on... If they listen and they executed already, they followed all three yeah, of us. Yeah, we'll get back on the live later tonight. Fine. We'll go back on the live tonight. Actually, I'm getting, on, I'm getting on live, I think, at 9 again. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Yeah, we'll, we'll recontinue at 9. Go Cash, run the go. play. I don't know. Um, go I got run the play. I'll be here at nine. I'll be here at nine. Go run the play. <laughs> Yo, peace out, y'all. Go run the play. Peace out, y'all. All right, later. Yeah.